or else we will be replaced with machines. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I am Subhash Chandran. In this video, we are going to discuss about one of the major crises we are going through in our times, which is the job losses due to AI development. Please note that AI is no more a news topic or no more a simple article you can avoid in the internet. AI is really going to be your reality in future. It is really going to take lots of jobs. It is going to replace the human with machines. That is for sure. But I would say that the impact of AI in the technical field is going to be less compared to non-technical fields such as HR, banking and financial sectors. However, we can expect that the AI is really going to be advanced in the near future, which can do multiple things, which might replace the people from the technical background as well. So isn't it important to understand whether our job is under threat or not under threat, whether our job is under danger zone or in the safe zone. So that is very important. So what is danger zone and safe zone? If your job can be optimized, if your daily job can be replaced by the AI, then you are under danger zone. So if your job is more of a human intelligence where you cannot eliminate the role of the human intelligence, then you are in the safe zone. So it's really important to assess whether you are in the safe zone or in the danger zone. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the three major actions you can do now in order to stay away from the danger or stay out of threat. Number one, evaluate yourself. What does it mean? It means you really have to monitor your daily task. You really have to monitor your daily nature of job. Whether are you highly dependent on your tools, whether the importance of the human intelligence is very less in your role or not, that you have to evaluate. Because you will have to see in this way. If you are not available tomorrow, whether it can be replaced with any softwares or any automized mechanisms, if that is the case, you are under danger zone. You really have to take the necessary action in order to change your position. So basically, the AI cannot replace the job where it requires a human intelligence. But it can replace a job where the human intelligence requirement is far less and which can be automized by making some um, uh, good programs to do the preliminary things. For example, in pipe routing. Imagine a product that prepares the preliminary pipe routing and it only needs to be checked by the senior designers. So the role of the designer is gone. So here the value is for the human intelligence, the senior designer. He will check whether the routing produced by the computer or the AI is right or wrong. So this is very important. So you will have to be a person where the contribution of your human intelligence should be more than the contribution of the tools. So this is the first and foremost thing. For this, you will have to evaluate yourself. This is a simple example for the piping field. Yes, if you are working in any other field, you really have to do this. If you don't do this in another two to five years, definitely the impact of AI will come to you. So that is what I'm trying to understand. So first of all, understanding yourself, understanding your nature of job, assessing your nature of job, whether it can be replaced or automized in future or not. That is very important. This is the first and foremost thing that you have to do. Number two, learn the importance of business. What does it mean? Every business has its own importance. Every business has its own milestones. There are key things you have to do in order to run the show. You simply cannot do the unimportant things in order to become the business successful. So be being in particular job, you really have to understand the importance of the business and grab that pulse. So if you feel that this is the particular thing that is driving the business, you really have to focus on that particular thing to learn. As long as you learn the purpose of the business, as long as you learn the pulse of the business, then nobody can replace you. For example, a 3D designer, he simply goes to the job, he simply goes to office and follow the instructions and executes the 3D modeling. But however, there is somebody who will be executing the entire project. He knows what kind of input to be received and what kind of output to be extracted, how to do the estimation, how to do the negotiation, how to manage the team, how to manage the cost and manoeuvres and everything. But this varies from different business to business. So the main intent is that you have to understand the business importance globally. So who is the customer? Who is the client? What kind of product that you are making? Uh, from where it is coming? What is his uh, expectations? What is the expectation uh, from the customer side and from the client side, from the contractor side? How you can promote your work? How you can negotiate with clients to get more projects? All these are very important. So this is the 
purpose of the business. So you really have to understand the purpose of the business. For that, you have to learn the importance of business. Only then you will be able to become a very important person in that particular team. Number three. Number three is one of the most important step that you have to do irrespective of whatever that you're doing in your life. Number three is you really have to spend a lot of time in order to improve your skills, upskill. That is number three. Why is it so important? Or else you will be replaced with machines because these days machines are doing much better multitasking than humans because you just have to follow certain programs. There is no distractions for the machines. It will simply follow the instructions. But humans are not like that. You will go through a lot of distractions. So it's important to upskill. Important to upskill based on your industries, based on your job, based on your field. For example, in piping, I have talked about the different skills required for piping design engineers in this particular video. If you want to understand about the skills, you can go through this video and understand and pick some of the skills so that you can work it out. You can also refer my piping design courses, which is basically constructed to give you three primary piping design skills, which is important for any piping design engineering profession, which is a PNID, routing and supports. This is considered to be the primary skill for all piping design engineering professionals. You'll find all the details in my site. I'll give you the link of that particular course in the description of this video. However, it is important to understand the skills which is necessary for a particular job and upskill as fast as possible. Only then you can beat the tools, only then you can beat the technology. If you are not going to upskill yourself, the people who is going to upskill will get better opportunities and the people who do not have the skills will be replaced with missions. So this is really a threat. I would say we all have to use time wisely because we are all working only for three benefits. One is health benefit, second is mental benefit. The third is financial benefit. If you are spending your time in particular activity, which is not going to give you any of these three benefits, then definitely you can focus on somewhere where you can get these three benefits. Because these three benefits are the only thing which is important for your life. So upskilling is an unavoidable situation at this point of time, because if you don't upskill yourself, you will be definitely replaced. So please take this seriously, go through the number of skills uh, which is required for piping design engineers and start focusing on one skill at one point of time and slowly keep adding number of skills in your CVs and resume so that you will get better opportunities. You will never ever be replaced with missions. So these are the three actions we all have to do in order to stay out of danger or else we will be replaced with missions. I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.